Whether you adore Nintendo's little white console or consider it a scourge to modern gaming, you have to admit it has really broadened the definition of the video game, if not completely reshaped it. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or a tragedy is the core of an ongoing debate in regard to the impact of the Wii, but one thing seems irrefutable. Without the Wii, there'd be far fewer games like this. This is endless ocean for the Nintendo Wii, and even with the broad post-Wii values we use to define them, some people are going to have a very tough time calling this a video game. And that's because Endless Ocean is a total break from what most of us are probably used to. Ever since the late 1970s arcade craze, video games have largely shared the same basic attributes. They give players an objective to fulfill, obstacles to impede their progress, and a means of overcoming those obstacles. And in most cases, these concepts have materialized in the forms of enemies and weapons. Such is not the case in Endless Ocean. This is one of those games that ignores more than 30 years of conditioning to instead present a daring new concept to gamers. Just relax. You see, Endless Ocean has no enemies. It has no obstacles, and although it does have objectives, they feel more like suggestions. This is a game, a piece of interactive software, which literally plays however you want it to. You just swim through its beautiful ocean environments without any sense of care or consequence. In fact, the only time your game ends in this ultra-casual scuba simulator is when you turn off your console. In Endless Ocean, you play as a scuba diver who sails around a vast ocean and explores its beautiful floor. It's not often a game comes along that can be summarized in so few words, but really there's not much more to Endless Ocean. I mean, you can accept assignments via email in the cabin of your boat, but these missions typically entail little more than photographing a certain kind of fish or finding a valuable trinket lost in the coral. Indeed, the assignments feel more like they're simply pointing out cool stuff to see than giving you any real mandates. So obviously, this is a game based entirely on exploration, but for that to work, the game's settings would have to be worth exploring. And for the most part, its underwater environments are definitely worth the visit. Endless Ocean provides some spectacular scenery, from colorful coral reefs to deep aquatic caverns, and for the most part, these environments are beautiful and captivating enough to keep interested players swimming and exploring. Unfortunately, try as you might, you won't find Rapture. Now, scuba diving is a pretty slow activity, so it's fitting that it would make for a pretty slow video game. If you're not interested in discovering new fish and swimming through caves, Endless Ocean's calm pace and soothing music just aren't going to hook you. Those who do get it will be intrigued by their discoveries, but those who don't will be put to sleep by, well, by their boredom. Surprisingly, Endless Ocean also offers an online mode in which you can join a friend for a joint dive. Now, it's a nice addition, and the mode works well enough, but without the ability to chat, it feels kind of silly and a bit awkward. Because the game is so inherently slow and discovery-based, you'll often want to talk to your friend, whether to point out a whale or even just make idle chat. But unfortunately, aside from a few text commands, this dive is silent. I've always found it fascinating that Endless Ocean released in the United States the same day as Ubisoft's blood-drenched action game, No More Heroes. We fans who went shopping for games that day saw two new releases side-by-side -side on their store shelves. One gave you a lightsaber and encouraged you to cut human beings in half, and the other gave you a flashlight and encouraged you to pet fish. I think it's awesome that the gaming industry has evolved to the point at which games like this can exist. And although it may not appeal to all of us, Endless Ocean is a very unique and well-designed game with a very specific audience. 
And if you can settle for shooting things with a camera instead of a bazooka, you just might be a part of that audience too.